Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another Ben 10 Ultimate Alien Reaction for you guys. This is Season 2, Episode 7, and of course, I will not know the title until I get into the episode now. A number of you guys were commenting saying I can't wait for you to check out next week's episode on Episode 6 last week, which is now here, Episode 7. And I'm hoping we're out of the slump now. Well, I call it a slump, but let's be honest. These first number of episodes for this season of Ultimate Alien have not been good. They've not been terrible. Some may say they were fucking horrible and awful. And I can get that point. But I still found some enjoyment in a sense in some areas for them. Now, I'm still in surprise, like shock really, that they tied in Alien Swarm into the series. But it makes sense because Alien Swarm was a film. and it, 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 So I get it. But still, it's like, did we really need it? Did we really need to tie in Alien Swarm into the actual animated series? No, we didn't. But whatever, we did. But anyway, so look. I'm excited to see what happens because you guys were actually excited. You can't wait for me to watch this episode. So let's dive into it now, guys. Let's not waste any time. I'm ready to see some hopefully good visit. And I'm hoping that it's correct because, see, sometimes when people commented things in the past, I'm just like, hey, wait for you to check out this episode. This okay. And it's production order versus airing order. So we'll see. Maybe this is actually going to be <laughs> not a. I don't know. Maybe they're thinking airing order. I have no clue. But okay. Let's dive into it. Let's see what happens. Let's go. What? 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 You can't hide from Who's me. this? I'm making an entrance. Tennyson? Really, Eon? Dude. Attacking me all Eon? What? That's my Eon? Oh, of course, the ninja dudes. Oh my god. <laughs> Ultimate Humongousaur. Wait. Ooh. Huh? Wait, wait a minute. Wait, what? What? So wait, he doesn't transform. He just takes their powers. Impressive. Why are you doing this, Eon? When we fought before, we that wasn't me, Tennyson. And soon it won't have been you. Clockwork. Clockwork. What? Hello, Ben. Hello. Good to see you, Paradise. Okay, so Ben 10,000 fights Eon, Eon, and then this this Ben 10,000 like hits the Omni. Are you? And he starts taking their powers and shit. He doesn't turn into them like he was growing like Ultimate Humongous or he. And then there's a new fucking alien, Clockwork or whatever. Like, okay, mm. okay, okay. I'm definitely intrigued about that. This already, this is even better. <laughs> the last of episodes already, but still, okay, okay. Let's see what happens. Ben ten thousand returns. Transmission, you're yeah. The matrix. Mm. Key. <laughs> uh. Spider monkey. Ooh, a lasso or a whip, whatever. Done, I guess. Whoever they are. Eon has not been destroyed. You merely knocked him down your own timeline. Don't. That's how yep. they got out before. Yeah. I don't think so. Ostendo specialis. I want to do it too. Ooh. Who's that? I don't remember that happening. Well, do you want to know who that is? Good guess. It's completely wrong. Well, wrong. Uh, but clever. Professor Paradox? Are you? That's right, Ben. I'm you. I'm or you. Even more awesome. <laughs> even more awesome. <laughs> I'm a different Ben 10,000. But I do remember going to that future back when we were 10. You're my real future. Yes. Real future. To change it. I'm going to be president of Earth? Just long enough to defeat the third Vogaxian invasion. We're headed to the middle of nowhere. One only hopes it's far enough. Nothing ever makes sense when you're around. Exactly, it doesn't. That's a fair criticism. You traveled into cross time. Cro like cross time? World? Yeah. Exactly. A world where Gwen found the Omnitrix. A world where Albedo turned to Alien X and was trapped motionless for nearly a year. But they cannot, must not, be allowed to leak into ours. If you remember this whole adventure, what's the problem? Oh. If you're me 20 years from now, we can't lose. If you could speed up, Kevin... 
Speed up. Nobody ever asked me to go faster. Oh, it's not holding. Nope. More of these dudes again. To crash us. Kiss. <laughs> he likes using he likes using that one. Hulk smash, Ben smash. What are you guys doing back there? Keep the ninjas away from Kevin. I'll be right Are they not questioning why he's so giant? <laughs> step outside. Uh how do you do all that without transforming? I haven't bought uh, the two for years. Mm. Not since I discovered my best transformation. Eon was defeated by the Ben of that world when he destroyed their version of the hand, taking down every Ben ten he can find. Why? We don't know. We're going to destroy the hand throughout space and time. So, Race Against Time is not canon. It's a different universe. Way big. Way big. Damn. Okay. No, I've been deceived. Stop! Stop! He's using your power to open a breach! I mean, okay, good reveal. What? 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 Okay, I was literally about to pause. I'm like, wait, what? I really thought that they really implied that he just murdered Ben. I know that wasn't actually going to happen. Holy shit. So, I, 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 want, I want to say this with a review, but my God, like... So Race Against Time is not canon. It's an alternate universe. That none of that shit is canon. And this is Eon, but then he was he he wasn't actually killed. He was sent into this fucking, you know, time shit, and now he's here. And the Ben Ten Thousand that we're seeing is not the Ben Ten Thousand we saw originally because that was a different Ben Ten Thousand. My God, okay, we have a lot to talk about. Anyways, my God, let's go back into it. Don't lose Swamp Fire. Don't lose Swamp Fire. They just keep coming with all these lightsaber like dudes. Oh, nice. <gasps> no, no. Ooh. It, interesting. Get over here. I should have known. This raises some questions. I feed on their power and make them my slaves. I will be the only Ben Tennyson that exists. <gasps> yeah, I mean, we knew, but still. Damn. Eon didn't come through the hand of Armageddon. He came from our watches. And the whole Ooh. life, he's been leading us away from it. <laughs> Careful. Is he actually gone? Is he is he Whoa Young Ben lost way big and both swamp fires today. Yeah. Holy shit. Oop. To restore. Just unlocked everything you've ever become up until now. Really? Thanks. Ooh. I also threw in a few new ones. Beware the creature from beyond. The creature beyond so okay. This was a way better episode than the first bit of episodes in this season. Holy shit. And it's interesting, at least in terms of the order I'm watching it in, that we had the last episode tie in Alien Swarm, and in this one, we tie in Race Against Time, but they actually make it interesting, because they reveal a bunch of shit that's actually like, huh, it doesn't make Race Against Time good. It just means it ain't fucking canon. <laughs> okay. Okay. I remember everything that was kind of revealed here. Okay. So number one, of course, Ben 10,000 10, returns, but it's actually the Ben 10,000 from this Ben's like the, the, the original timelines, Ben 10, the Ben 10 we've seen before is not Ben 10 in the future. Like not our Ben 10. It's a different Ben 10 in the timeline. So he went to a parallel universe. He went through somewhere in the multiverse and found another version of Ben 10. Who's not 10,000. Okay. So none of that shit's canon. 
and that basically what they're saying is, well, that is a possible future, but this is actually not Ben's future. And now this is his actual future, which apparently he's ultimate Ben, so he can just hit and just become whatever the fuck he wants, but he doesn't change unless he's like ultimate humongous or, or in terms of like maybe like a like if he becomes. I don't know, any kind of alien that maybe would have to transform, kind of, because he, like, he transforms into Ultimate Monks where he gets big. But he, he uses their abilities. Fire, ice, he can run around like with freaking Accelerate. That's like so cool, so awesome to see all this. And this new alien clockwork as well. He has timeline powers too. It's like a lot of shit. Of course, you know, Ben's like, can I, can I get Master Control? Because, you know, he had lost way big in the, both versions of, um, of uh, Swamp Fire. But thankfully, you know, Ben 10,000 was there to save everything. So a lot of really cool stuff. And on top of that, like I mentioned, Race Against Time is not canon. Yes! Because it's, it's a... I wish Alien Swarm wasn't canon either, but anyways. Um, Race Against Time was a fucking disaster. It's horrible. Um, but Eon... So Eon in the movie was horrible. Eon here? It's interesting he's from the multiverse. That he's from... This, like... From that earth we don't know exactly which timeline but then he's going to all these different ones and recruiting other bins and like taking them essentially and making them basically these just stormtrooper kind of characters with lightsabers basically the ninjas that we've seen like that's the implication that that's what he was doing now because he was sent through because of that one bin which was not a really good bin but anyways i also like two where paradox was mentioning in terms of like the multiverse that there's all these worlds where Gwen gets the Omnitrix, where Ben doesn't have to destroy the Omnitrix in order to stop Vilgax and all this kind of stuff. There's a lot of things, and it's like there's so many possibilities out there, and it'd be really cool if we got to see them. But it's it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, because we got what if kind of episodes in the original Ben 10 series. Um, so I like the reveal that they did, even though we know. If you've seen the movie, we know who Eon is. I liked how they did the reveal here where they took off the mask of one of the um, just mindless, just ninja characters with lightsabers. And then Gwen does that new spell where they freeze in time, which is really cool, by the way. They just freeze. And the reveal, it's just, it's like a teen Ben. It would have been funny if they would have had like smaller versions, like smaller, like actual like Ben 10. Like, like for some reason, he went back in time on one of the plants and took one of the classic Ben 10. <laughs> Just it just had so so we had little Ben tens and then teen Ben tens. It'd be kind of funny to see that. Um, but yeah, so they found a way to stop Eon, and Paradox is claiming that that all the timelines he affected will soon go back to normal because he is gone. I guess that works. I guess I don't know for sure, but I I guess it works because if the timelines are being affected by him and changed, would it really revert back? Even though he's gone, I don't. I don't know. I guess Paradox would know more than I would. I guess I don't know. But it was interesting to see all this go down, and the fact that even though Ben Ten Thousand's voice was kind of weird, like because I have the, the voice actor pulled up here, Sean Donnellan. I'm not really sure um, how to pronounce. Less, I hope I'm not butchering his last name. I probably am, but I don't know. His, his voice just kind of. I don't know. It's about kind of weird. I don't know. Then again, it's a different Ben 10,000, so I get it. We need a different voice actor to do it because I guess we could use the Because I don't think that's the same voice from the Ben 10,000 we got to see in Ben 10 Classic. I don't think it is. If it is, apologies. It just sounds different to me, but regardless. Um, but I like the Paradox's involvement. Even though he's not technically supposed to be involved, but he was helpful enough in everything to kind of... Because he knew how dangerous it was if something happens. Because he said this is the original timeline. So, like, this timeline is super important Paradox knows he can't really technically let anything really bad happen to it. So, he says he can't interfere, but yeah. And then, Paradox says, well, if you go any further, Eon, you know, there's nowhere you can go where I can stop it. Like, I'll burn that bridge when I get to it. Um, also, the line to Eon that he said, I, I, any last words, I'm collecting them. That's, I'm not, I'm not sure I've heard that line before, or a version of that line before, but that was really interesting. Any last words, I'm collecting them. All right. All right, that's kind of that's kind of that's kind of dark. Also interesting in a way to say you're going to die, but I'm any last words. I'll take them. I'll take them because I'm collecting them. Uh, anything else? I just liked all the aliens, and they revealed, of course, that Ben can just turn Ben Ten Thousand can just turn into aliens and shit, and you know, um, and he's he really, he doesn't turn into them. He uses their powers or whatever. Uh, 
anything else in particular that was really stood out about this? Uh, oh, also, Ben 10,000 was able to do a spell. And quickly just says, well, if you've been around an anodite or like or around Gwen for so long, you pick up on a couple things. Like, okay, so at some point, Ben can learn magic or learn how to use spells or something. I don't, I don't know for sure. Maybe it's when he becomes ultimate Ben or something and that next stage he goes into at some point, maybe that's what it, that's what helps. I don't know. Just throwing out an idea. I have no idea. No clue. But yeah, this was definitely better. Definitely a better episode for sure. I had a fun time with this, seeing all these uh, characters and just seeing kind of some throwbacks. And the fact is too, Ben 10,000 said I threw in a couple new ones. I'm assuming he threw in clockwork because... You know, they introduced clockwork in this episode. So I'm assuming we get to see this alien. And I'm curious what others are in store. Because you don't throw that out there just to throw it out there. I feel like there's a purpose. There's going to be a reason why some of these are going to be introduced storyline-wise. But yeah, so this this is a way, I think, to bring in... Because we were bringing in Alien Swarm in the last episode. This is a way to bring in Race Against Time and go... Yeah, we know that movie's bad. We can make Elon better, or at least more interesting, in which they do here in a 20-ish minute episode, versus the movie. And we're going to make the movie non-canon. Now, Alien Swarm is canon, but whatever. But at least Race Against Time, the worst of the two, is not canon. Uh, I Look, I know they tried, but my god. Ugh. But, uh, but they had, still had to keep the, you know random ninjas and shit just <laughs> because they had to keep that but they revealed that it's all at least in this at, at this point now eon is capturing other bins so it even makes it more interesting that he's been capturing other bins from other timelines and making them slaves essentially to him so that's more interesting than what they were doing in the movie where it's just a bunch of random ninjas jumping around Ooh, like <laughs> that's dumb uh any last things i'm just trying to think um i can think of not that i can think of at the moment but i uh, i really enjoyed the episode i'm so glad that it was definitely better, and I can't wait to see what happens next, because now it seems like we're going up in terms of the episode, so please keep the momentum release, you know, don't go start going back down again, please, please. Hope you guys saw the reaction, I'm curious to know what you guys thought about the episode, I don't think I've forgotten anything or missed anything in particular, I'm trying to think, I don't think so, but regardless, enjoy the episode, hope you guys saw the video, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below what you guys thought about this episode, talk to you guys soon, peace out.